This is 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, Episode 90, The Horse Symbolizes Success. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter, Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover Feng Shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement Feng Shui tips that you can put to work right away, and usually in about five minutes. Now let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. Hello and welcome to today's episode. You know, there are a lot of animal lovers out there. I'm being one of them. Uh, you know, cats, dogs, you name it, love them. And uh, and one of the animals that is highly regarded in, in our world is the horse. They're beautiful, they're magnificent, they're strong. And uh, my sister used to ride horses quite a lot, uh, especially, strangely, <laughs> when she lived in New York City. She lived in a, in a small town just outside of the city, and she had a beautiful uh, uh, riding ring very close to where, the, where she lived. And uh, she would often take her horse, who was a jumper, and go r- f- riding and j- jumping through the field. She said it was absolutely so glorious, and one of her, her favorite memories that she had while she was in New York and she got to ride in a lot of parades and that kind of thing. But um, horses are, are just, they're, they're stunning creatures. We love them um, for their beauty, strength, and stamina. They've long been part of mankind's building of civilizations. It was the horse that carried people and supplies to new lands and helped open trade routes. And they've been man's constant companion in discovery and war and pleasure. I mean, just think about horse racing and how magnificent that is. I mean, we, don't we all love uh, love those uh, races and watching those magnificent animals and how quickly they 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 roll they can run, you know they are revered obviously for their strength their and their speed and uh, as a symbol in feng shui, horses are a symbol of wealth and recognition, uh, from the small and sturdy horses of Tibet to those really uh, high end quarter horses of Kentucky and the speedy Arabian breed. Horses have captivated us with their stamina and intelligence. And in feng shui, they are a favored symbol. They are the animal that is most associated with prestige position and material abundance. Horses are also representative of strength and yang energy, and they enliven any room with their presence. Uh, they're just, I mean, gosh, think about think about uh, our, one of our favorite uh, restaurants in, in America, and that is P.F. Chang's. Outside of most of the restaurants, they have those magnificent tang horses and you you cannot not notice that restaurant i mean you see it when you see those horses there's just something that is so compelling about it um, they are actually uh, used as guardians uh, according to pf changs uh, now often in if you Chinese paintings, you'll see groups of eight. These are the famed horses of King Mu. The horses symbolized helping the king run the country. And in business, they signify capable and strong management. Uh, But there are a lot of horses in feng shui and especially in Chinese symbolism. You know, there's um, a variety of ways that the horse is symbolized in both uh, feng shui and Chinese lore, including the horse on a swallow that represents reaching goals. Um, This symbol of the horse stepping on a swallow represents the swallow helping the horse fly. And and it symbolizes the attainment and reaching success quickly. So if you can imagine, if horses could fly, they'd get there even faster, right? So this is one of the symbols that you might want to look for and many people overlook. So the next time you look at a horse in a figurine or in in a Chinese painting, look under their feet. You might see it looks sort of like a 
just a little symbol. You might not recognize it as a bird, but look closely. And if you see uh, that the horse is stepping on something, you may notice that it has wings and it's actually a bird. And that represents that getting there faster, really quickly, uh, attaining success. So it's a really uh, nice symbol to have in your home or your office if you're looking to get your career going and to invigorate it. Uh, it's a great symbol. Now horses really can bring about advances in just about any sector. Uh, you can place two horses in the southwest to invigorate your love life. You can also use white or gold color horses to invigorate the metal corners of the west of children and northwest for help the breadwinner many times or helpful people sectors. Now there's a couple of places where we don't want to add horses and that is wherever the annual five yellow and two stars uh, fly to. Now these are annual energies that can create all kinds of problems and so if you're familiar with annual feng shui you'll just want to keep uh, a horse away from there because horses are representative of fire and fire energy really can create uh, more problems for these annual afflictions as they're called that can bring about some very serious problems like bankruptcy or divorce or cancer accidents that kind of thing the other thing that we don't want to do is to add a horse image or figure in the bedroom because they're representative of fire they have extreme yang energy they re they're they're the symbol of the highest point of summer uh, that is you know June July when the Sun is at its peak it's the strongest energy so when we have a horse image in our bedroom then we've got all that summer strong uh, fire energy and typically when we're in the in the bedroom we really want to relax right so we don't want to have it all activated and 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 strengthened at that point yeah you know, if you want to use the horse figure for romance place the horse figures in uh, the southwest corner of your living room rather than your bedroom as we just don't want to have uh, too much the yang energy in your bedroom because you may not be able to sleep and we and we all know that you know a good night's sleep is makes us happier people for sure now always choose horses that don't look angry or sad or violent like they're kicking because this can bring bad luck to you now if you are stuck in your life uh, a, a horse symbol is a great area to, or a great symbol to use in in your home uh, you know if, if there's an area of your life that feels stuck or stagnant a horse is a great symbol to help energize that area of your home they're especially potent in the south the south is a, a the the best place actually for horses to be placed now symbolizing uh, attainment horses make terrific figures to represent that 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 feeling of haven't we arrived <laughs> you know like shouldn't I have that nice car or the timeshare or whatever it is the horse is really one of the best symbols of success there is in feng shui because it's it's regarded as a symbol of of rising to a highly regarded position of of, of attainment uh, a, a symbol of good fortune and prosperity and and the material assets and the material benefits and and the recognition that comes with that you know you're invited to um, you know swanky parties or you're flying first class or business class to, on your vacations that kind of success is what the horse symbolizes now it also represents fire as we talked about and that flame of recognition this is called the indirect path to wealth now you can make money and lots of money and that's the direct path right you, you just you know they load the the uh the money truck up to your or back it up to your house and and pour forth all the cash or you win the lottery or something like that but there are other uh roundabout ways to wealth and one of those ways is through recognition sort of like if you think about somebody that uh, is a musician and they've got uh, a release you know they've 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 written a song and they're not making any money if nobody hears it but the minute it gets picked up on and it goes to number one on iTunes or Spotify or radio or what have you then suddenly that person's making money they 
receive the money through recognition. And this is what's important to understand is we want that uh, recognition in our lives for our, the jobs that we do, the products that we create, the uh, position that we have, have attained in, in the company where we work. And that horse is one of the best symbols that you can use. Uh, because again, it is, it's representative of the high noon height of summer and the strength of the sun's energy which is so yang and that brings you that potent energy so place a horse in the south corner of your living room uh, to propel your name and help you earn approval and recognition and all that comes all the benefits that come from that recognition now let's talk about buddha in buddhism there are eight auspicious objects followed by eight precious treasures uh, such as the jewel or the precious queen or the precious horse. And the the horse is seen as one of those eight precious treasures. The horse in this light represents loyalty and perseverance and uh, intelligence. So it makes a really beautiful symbol uh, in Buddhism and, uh, and you can place it there to represent, place it in uh, wherever you, uh, uh, you know, if you have a, a prayer corner or if you have a, a place where you would just like to think of enlightenment, uh, this horse makes a beautiful, uh, a beautiful symbol of that. Now, there is another type of horse called the victory or tribute horse. This represents success. A tribute horse is, is the horse that was often led to a conquering army and it was laden with jewels and, and gold and silver and uh, weapons and all kinds of finery. And if you've been looking for a symbol of success, success to enhance your home or your standing in life, your victory or tribute horse is one of the best ways to do it. You'll sometimes see them, um, they look, um, they're tang horses, sort of like the ones that are on uh, out in front of P.F. Chang's, but sometimes they'll have, you know, beautiful saddles and all kinds of finery um, and, and trimming on the horse. This is, made, this is a, a t what you would call a tribute horse. But no matter what you call it, this horse really represents the spoils of winning, of triumph over the competition. And it's one of those symbols that can bring you that luck of good fortune and the lifestyle that good fortune and career advancement confers. Now, there's also a, a way that you can use the horse and in a advancement in your career. Uh, although it's not technically a horse, there's a dragon horse that is a combination of a dragon and a horse, and it's called a chilin. And this dragon horse is really helpful for those who want to advance their careers, especially if you're in the military or any type of authority type figure. Uh, if you are the boss or the manager of, of your office, uh, this the chilin is a great uh, symbol to have uh, in your office. Uh, maybe um, as bookends or uh, in, in the front of your office or behind your on your credenza. It's a really nice one for helping you advance in your career. The, another horse called the win horse. Now this can help you create windfalls like lottery winnings or contests. In fact, I just, uh, in the last podcast uh, that um, I had on when money goes too quickly, I read uh, an email that a listener from Western Australia had, had sent to me who had won a contest. And uh, she had started implementing her birth element in her feng shui, which is water. And she ended up winning $1,000, which she bought a, 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 a beautiful uh, fountain with. Now, this type, uh, this is the type of thing that a wind horse can help you do. A wind horse is many times is a horse that can be seen as white, but they can also be different colors. And they symbolize that advancement in your career and helps build energy for career gains and improvement like quickly. Um, you could just look up wind horse online if you're looking for one of those symbols. Now, if you are looking to get more control over your career, there's a, a famous Chinese symbol of the monkey on a horse. And that means the monkey is 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 holding the reins uh, of the horse and that means you holding the reins of your career success or business growth and um, that now this is a wonderful symbol if you're looking to create a path of upward growth or movement 
of course, famously in many, uh, you may have seen them in Chinese restaurants or uh, Chinese uh, uh, establishments that uh, you'll see the, a group of eight horses. These running horses bring energy, power, and luck. Sometimes you'll see them in groups of six or eight or nine. These running horses exude supremacy and they're powerful activators for fame and glory. Uh, these are really terrific for placing in the, uh, especially if you can get one of an image, a picture, and place it in the south corner of your home to stimulate fame luck. Really uh, terrific um, symbol to place there. Gambling and winning. Uh, now this is, we talked about the wind horse can help you create windfalls. There's another horse and it is uh, the horse with a fly on it. It looks, maybe sometimes it looks like a cicada. And if you see, you can look those up online. If you, if you like to gamble a lot, maybe you go to Vegas. Uh, maybe you like to play poker on the weekends with your friends. If you uh, want to try your hand at gambling or enter contests or take gambles on stocks, uh, get this horse symbol with the fly on the horse. It's a great way to promote that luck of gambling and the luck of winning. Well, there you go. We have talked about the feng shui horse, the beautiful precious horse, and what a powerful symbol it is. And I'm talking about it here as we are approaching uh, the height of summer, the summer solstice. We have an eclipse this weekend coming up, so I thought the horse would be just a perfect topic for this week. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, five-minute uh, feng shui podcast. I want to leave you with three tips about horses. Number one, add horse figures to represent represent recognition and material success in the south corner. Number two, always position a horse that looks like it's running to look as though it's running into a room. You never want to have a picture of a horse where it appears to be running out the door or the figure to look like it's it's uh, running away. Uh, we always want that energy to be running into our lives, into our homes. Number three, use a figure or an image of a horse, especially in the south corner for fame and recognition, and also the southwest for relationships, and the northeast for educational luck and for intelligence. These are all great locations and actually the most favored locations to place your horse. Have a great week, everybody, and I wish you uh, a wonderful weekend and hopefully uh, some happy eclipse news. You know, it is a solar eclipse, and that often means a new beginning. So whatever your new beginning is, I hope it's a happy one. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to 5-Minute Feng Shui today. The Year of the Rat is coming and I want to share with you where you can find money, love, and opportunity in 2020. And it's all in my annual Feng Shui Forecast the Success Pack. You get a full year of in-depth Feng Shui details about how to use the energy of the year for success and prosperity. That's because every year we're showered with a Roman candle of opportunities for money, abundance, love, and opportunity. You just have to know where they are. And my Year of the Rat Feng Shui Success Pack includes all the details for every house and every zodiac sign. You also get this year's lucky clothing, handbag, and wallet colors. So be sure to go to redlotusletter.com forward slash rat for all the details on the year of the rat and how to make this year the year of your dreams.